Konnichiwa everybody and welcome to the class. Well, we will not waste any time over here and immediately start our lesson. In our previous uh, classes, we have uh, been doing adjectives and we covered, if I am not mistaken, uh, I adjectives. So, well today we will continue with adjectives and try to do the other adjective which is the na adjective. So, we will do now na adjectives today, but before I actually start telling you about na adjectives and about other things, well um, we will go over the assignments and see what you have done and you can also check whether what you have done is correct or not. So, the first assignment over here is look at the pictures and practice the dialogue given below with adjectives. So, all you have to do is look at these pictures over here and put I adjectives over here. Nani o kaimasu ka? You have to put the adjective as you know adjective tells you about the noun. So, adjective noun o kaimasu. So, whatever the picture please put the adjective for that picture and use it. So, what do we have over here? Well, akai kuruma o kaimasu. So, in this manner you can actually do a small dialogue, talk to your friend, ask your friend and your friend can answer or your friend can ask you and you can look at the picture and answer. So, the second one is atarashi and the picture is kasa of an umbrella. So, well atarashi kasa o kaimasu. Now, the third one is tebukuro, tebukuro, tebukuro is gloves and it is shiroi. So, shiroi tebukuro o kaimasu. Now, you have a coat over here, koto and you have takai which is expensive. So, nani o kaimasu ka? Takai koto o kaimasu. And then you have chocolates over here, chocorato, oishi. So, nani o kaimasu ka? Watashi wa is of course understood. The subject is always understood and during conversation you can actually omit the subject. So, well, oishi chocorato o kaimasu. Now you can practice that. The second assignment is as we have been doing all the time is match the words in column A with words in column B. So, we have these words listed in Roman for you and the meanings are in English. So, let us see Aoi is blue, Takai Murasaki, Nagai and you can see what the meaning is, Hiroi, Chisai, it is Chisai and not Chisai, it is not a small sound, it is a long sound Chisai, Chisai. Sumaranai, Chairoi, and the last one is Kawaii, which is cute. Again, there is a double sound over here. Ka, wa, e, e, Kawaii. So it's a long sound. It's two syllables over there. So please keep that in mind. Now, write hiragana or katakana for the words given below. Atsui, akarui, akarui is bright, I am sure you remember from your previous lessons. Sumetai is sumetai as in touch, when you touch something then it is cold that is sumetai and not the weather is sumetai, weather is Samui, Nagai, Akai, 
ピクニック。This is in カタカナ over here. レモン、レモン。So try to do these words in カタカナ。おもしろい。大きい。オレンジ。Now, the fourth assignment over here is look at the pictures below and fill in the blanks with kanji characters. So, the pictures are given over here at the bottom. You have a rose, an elephant, some oranges, washing machine, a clock, and you have June written over here. And let us see what the assignment is. Hana wa, hana, hana is a flower, hana wa akai desu. Or you can name the hana as well and say bara wa. Akai desu. Then we have Zo san wa oki desu. Now you would wonder as to why we are using san over here. Well, san is just for the for for being sweet to Zo san, and because Zo san is so big, for the hugeness of Zo san, we use san over there. Zo san wa oki desu. Then we have Mikan wa. Mitsu arimas. One, two, three. Mitsu arimas. Then sentaki. Sentaki is a washing machine. Sentaki wa oki desu. Basu wa rokuji ni rokuji ni kimasu. Then natsu yasumi wa. 6月にあります。夏休み is 夏 is summer and 休み is holiday. So summer vacations は6月にあります。Well, I hope you got this right. You got the kanji characters right. Now fill in the blanks with proper verb forms. So let us see what the verbs are here. 毎日何時に起きますか。昨日私は友達の家へ行きました。So the verb is 行きました。And past is for 昨日 over here。子供は明日学校へ行きません。Negative。日曜日に家族と一緒に。ピクニックへ行きます。日曜日 could also be must form which is future and could also be past form because we don't know when the 日曜日 was。おととい私と友達は映画を見ました。Now you can see た form is given over here、ました form is given over here that is for おととい、past、that is day before yesterday。Now、来月の3日に先生のうちにパーティーがあります。Now this is a statement over here、thus が。And、三日に、so please remember に and が、this is a pattern with あります、where place に、something があります。Now, 友達は車で会社へ来ます。So why 来ます ？Because this person over here, whosoever is stating this, is already in office, and thus it is 来ます and not 行きます。昼ご飯を食べましょうか。Shall we? 月曜日にラオさんは会社へ来ませんでした。So in past negative. Now this was your assignment and I hope you all did it properly and you remember what you have done. You have done your、um, forms. You have done your 
verb forms you have done your adjectives i adjectives so i hope you all you all remember all that you have done now in our last lesson we did they form in a set of things what is cheap what is expensive what is big or what is small we are again going to do article they today over here now you see i'll just read the dialogue for you a and b suika wa ikura desu ka suika wa 1000 yen desu sore wa nihongo de nan desu ka kore wa sakuranbo desu sakuranbo wa ikura desu ka sakuranbo no basket to wa 500 yen desu so well you can look at the picture and see there are two people standing and he is pointing at this object over here and he wants to know what it is called in japanese look at this over here hi for this gentleman it is sore and for this gentleman it is kore so kore wa or sore wa nihongo de over here de means in nihongo de nan desu ka so what is it called in japanese kore wa sakuranbo desu is that all right so with de particle de as we are doing now nihongo nihongo de in japanese or ego de in english or hindi go de indo go de nan desu ka so what is it called in a certain language now you can practice it over here look at the picture and ask what it is called in japanese you can look at the picture over here it's a picture of momo which is peach let us see what the question is kore wa nihongo de nan desu ka a simple question you can you can do these questions practice them with your partner and it is easy later on when you are doing dialogue momo desu simple answer momo desu we have another picture for you ashtray or haizara so let us see what the question is haizara wa ego de nan desu ka what is it ashtray this now we have another picture over here this is gloves so well the question is gloves wa nihongo de nan desu ka tebukuro desu so this is how you can ask anything about anything what it is called in a certain language or what it is in a certain language now we have been doing adjectives we have done i adjectives as i told you in the beginning in our last lesson now today we will do na adjectives what did you eat at the hotel hotel de nani o tabemashita ka well now listen to this audio dialogue and let us see how much you understand senshu no party wa dou deshita ka nigiyaka na party deshita kaijo wa doko deshita ka yume na taji hotel deshita yo a sou desu ka amitsu san kimashita ka kimasen deshita demo neha san kimashita yo hitori de iie kaisha no tomodachi to issho ni kimashita party de oishi mono o tabemashita ka takusan no oishi mono o tabemashita well the dialogue is between arun san and rao san i'll just read the dialogue 
out to you and then explain. Senshu no party wa do deshita ka? Nigiyaka na party deshita. Kaijo wa doko deshita ka? Yumei na Taju Hotel deshita yo? So desu ka? Amitsu san kimashita ka? Kimasen deshita. Demo Neha san kimashita yo? Hitori de. Iie, kaisha no tomodachi to issho ni kimashita. Party de oishi mono o tabemashita ka? Taksan oishi mono o tabemashita. So well, this is a simple dialogue between Arun and Rao and there are quite a few new words actually and I will just explain them to you. Senshu last week, no party wa do deshita ka? We did this phrase earlier as well. Do deshita ka means how was it? Nigiyaka na party deshita. It was a very very lively party. Kaijo wa doko deshita ka? Kaijo is place where the party was held. Yume na taju hotel deshita yo. Yume na. You will see na is used over here after these words. So well they are na adjectives and I will explain why na is used over here a little later. For the time being yume means very very famous. Yume na taju hotel deshita yo. So desu ka? Amitsu san kimashita ka? Kimasen deshita. He did not come. Demo, neha san kimashita yo. Demo means but. It is a conjunction as you have done soshite which is also a conjunction but it starts a sentence. This is a little different from the conjunctions that we do in English. Hitori de, alone. Again de is used over here. We have done de in the previous uh, Lesson Hitori de means alone. Iie kaisha no tomodachi to issho ni kimashita. He came with his friends from the office. Party de oishi mono wo tabemashita ka? Party de. Again we have another de over here. Oishi mono wo tabemashita ka? Did you eat good things at the party? Taksan oishimono o tabe ashita. So, this is the explanation. Well, it's short, very, very short explanation. Details will follow. This is in the script. You can see how kanji, katakana, and hiragana are used. And this is your explanation in English. One thing I would like to tell you is that this explanation may not be a translation of what we have done just now. This is what one would say in English. Well, we are going to do na adjectives now. I adjectives as I told you earlier are all words ending in I in the end. They are Japanese words, but na adjectives are words of Chinese or foreign origin. You have to please remember that. And why they are, they are like this is because most of the time these adjectives have two kanji characters which are obviously Chinese in origin. And all I adjectives will always have a character and some hiragana in the end. Now you can read all this. Examples over here are onna no hito wa kirei desu. The woman is beautiful. Kirei na onna no hito desu. So now you can see that na is there. How and why na is used? We will discuss it over here. Na adjectives are kire, genki, yume. We did one over here in the kaiwa that was ningi, yaka. So these are some 
Now adjectives, of course, you can you can say that they also have an i in the end, but these are exceptions and you have to remember them like that. Now, ma ri ko san wa kire this. Now, what do you understand from this? Well, this is a simple statement mariko san wa kire this. Mariko san is pretty. Now, if I say kire na mariko mariko san this. So, I am talking of mariko san that mariko san kire na mariko san this. Mariko san is very very beautiful and now this is a noun this is an adjective as we did just now over here. When you place an adjective before a noun then na is to be put in between na comes over here. Over here you can see mariko san wa kire this adjective and verb. So, in such a case na is not going to be used, but if you place or use a na adjective before a noun like this in this case, then na will come. Another example we can have is kodomo wa genki this. The child is very, very happy and healthy and in good shape. Well, genki na kodomo this. The child is very, very happy in good health. Genki na kodomo this. Sorry, genki na kodomo this. So, please in such a manner when you will have adjective and noun over here, then na is going to be used. Please remember that. With na adjectives, that is very, very important. All adjectives as you know tell more about noun, talk about the noun, give you more information as to how or what the noun is. So, over here you can use kire and genki and any of the na adjectives like this, but with a na before the noun. Now, the example over here is Shizuka na kodomo desu. He is a quiet child. Kodomo wa shizuka desu. The child is quiet. He is quiet at the moment, but over here he is a quiet child. Generally, he is very, very quiet. So, that is the difference, but in a broad way the meaning does not change that much. You can use it. Well, now some na adjectives for you. You can repeat after me. The Roman is given over here in the first column, then you have hiragana and then the meaning in English. So, well, genki, kire, shizuka. Ningiyaka, Hima. Hima is free time. Rippa. Rippa can be a person and Rippa can also be a building or something can also be Rippa. So, please remember a stately grand a person who has a very good personality, something which is grand big is rippa. In form also it is grand and big it is rippa. Then benri, benri is convenient. So, anything can be benri, of course person cannot be benri, a book can be benri, uh, it could be convenient to use, a jisho could be benri which is a dictionary. Uh, a kurma could be benri, it is convenient to drive. A road could be benri, 
it is easy to use the road, it is free of traffic, it has less signals and it is a smooth road, good road. So, it could be Benri. Then Majime is honest, serious, hard working person is Majime. Majime na hito desu. Some na adjectives. Now, you can look at the picture and practice Benri na jisho desu. As I just told you, Benri na jisho desu. Kire na tokoro desu. Tokoro is a place. Kire na oyome san desu. Oyome san is a bride. Kire na oyome san desu. Then we have Shinsetsu na kata desu. Shinsetsu is kind. So, this gentleman, we could call him Tanaka san, is offering his umbrella over here on a rainy day. So, Shinsetsu, he is a kind person. Then what do we have here? It is a classroom, Kyoshitsu and Majime na Gakusei desu. Majime is they are all very hard working students. Majime na Gakusei desu. And then this last one over here is Genki na Kodomo desu. Well, we have some more na adjectives for you. Steki na onna no hito desu. Steki na onna no hito desu. Then we have someone singing. Jozu na kashio desu. Jozu is someone who is very good at something, skilled at something, and kashio is a singer. So, well, Jozu na kashio san desu. Then we have Yume na chef san desu. Yume is very, very famous. So, you may na chef san desu. And then what do we have over here in this picture? Handsome na hito desu. This gentleman over here, very good looking, handsome na hito desu. So, you can also see that lot of English words can be used as na adjectives. Beautiful, pretty na onna no hito desu. Beautiful na onna no hito desu. Then we have kire na hana desu. And yume na sumo san desu. So, we have these na adjectives, you can practice, learn, and make sentences. Now, Mariko san wa shinsetsu desu. We have this statement over here Mariko san is shinsetsu. Now, you can replace Mariko san over here with whatever vocabulary you have done and you can replace shinsetsu with any of the other na adjectives that you have done and make sentences. For example, oto san wa oto san wa genki desu. Oka san wa tene desu. Tene is very, very polite. Sensei wa rippa desu. Kono hito wa yume desu. Tokyo wa kirei desu. So, you can also make statements like this and also you can do something very simple. You can have a small dialogue with your friend. You can ask and answer. For example, here it is given A and B. Mariko san wa shinsetsu na hito desu ka? Hai, shinsetsu na hito desu. So, what you can do now is Mariko san wa shinsetsu desu. One, it is a statement. You can replace shinsetsu with any of the na adjectives that you have done, you may and Mariko san again 
you can replace with all the vocabulary that we have done earlier. For example, tomo dachi imoto okasan and any other vocabulary that you remember wa shinsetsu desu. Also, you can put a ka over here and ask a question. Mariko san wa shinsetsu desu ka? So, the answer would be either in hi or no. So, we will practice hi for the time being and hi shinsetsu desu. Tomodachi wa yume desu ka? Hai yume this as is given over here in the slide for you. Well, you can see now the second one is Mariko san wa shinsetsu na hito desu ka? Hai shinsetsu na hito desu. So, over here Mariko san wa shinsetsu na Hito, you have done this. This ka hai shinsetsu na hito des. Is it all right? I am sure you can understand this. It's given over here as well. So you can practice from here. Mariko san wa shinsetsu na hito des ka hai shinsetsu na hito des. For Mariko san instead of Mariko san, you can place any of these. Imoto san wa shizuka na hito desu ka? Hai, shizuka na hito desu. Tomodachi wa teinei na hito desu ka? And instead of hito, if you really want to be very polite, you can also use kata, which is given over here. So, tomodachi wa teinei na Kata desu ka? Hai, tomodachi wa teinei na kata desu. Kono tatemono wa yumei desu ka? Hai, kono tatemono wa yumei na tatemono desu. Tokyo wa kirei na tokoro desu ka? Hai, Tokyo wa kirei na tokoro desu. So, you can practice like this. Use na this time and practice. Now, look at the pictures and answer the questions using adjectives. So, let us see what the picture is. Well, you have a sweater which is a seta in Japanese and nekutai. So, what is the question over here? Tomodachi no tanjoubi desu. Nani wo agemasu ka? Agemasu is to give. Steki na nekutai o agimas or takai seta o agimas. Now, what do we have now? Someone listening to music and someone driving a car. So, what is the question? Ashita yasumi desu. Nani o shimasu ka? Atarashi ongaku o kikimas or Omoshiroi tokoro e ikimasu. What is next now? Well, we have a lot of fruits over here. Kudamono ga arimasu. Takusan kudamono ga arimasu. So, shite koto arimasu. So, what is the question? Okaasan ni nani wo okurimasu ka? Okurimasu is to send. Okaasan ni nani wo okurimasu ka? Oishi kudamono o okurimasu or kirei na koto o okurimasu. So, you can practice like this. Now, we had demo in our uh, conversation in the beginning. As I told you, it is a conjunction. It is a joining particle and it shows contrast between two things. But one thing you really have to remember is that it is contrast between two similar things and not two, two things from different sets. You cannot say that I, I had 
coffee and I went to school. Nothing like that. You, you cannot use those two. You have to have things of the same set as in the example over here. For example, Tanaka san ni aimashita, demo Honda san ni aimasen deshita. You cannot say Tanaka san ni aimashita, demo keiki o tabemasen deshita or nemashita, which is wrong. You have to have of the same set as over here, kocha o nomimas, demo kohi o nomimasen. So, you show contrast between two things of a similar set that you have this and you do not have this, you do this or you do not do this or you go here and you do not go over there. So, please remember with demo though you show contrast, but it has to be of the same set. Watashi wa niku wo tabemasu, demo yasai wo tabemasen. Watashi mo yasai wo tabemasen. Now, for watashi again you can replace it with any of this over here and for the noun niku and yasai as is given in the example you can replace it with biru wine or tamago niku or juice milk. So, you can see that it belongs to a certain set it is beverages over here, this is non vegetarian food over here and this is something that you drink. So, accordingly you will use the verb in these sentences. Now, we have done a lot of they, we have done for transport, we have done for a group of things, today we did with Nihongo de, now there is another set you do of they with Another way of using they is with numbers. Hitori de, futari de, sannin de. Hitori is one, futari is two, sannin is three, minna de is all. So, with everyone, only one person, hitori de alone, futari de, two of us, sannin de, three people. So, with numbers, you will use they as is given over here, hitori de ikimasu, minna de ikimasho. let us all go, I will go alone or kaisha no hito to issho ni ikimasu, I will go with someone from the office. So, please this is how they is to be used. Now, as you can see it is written over here, when a question word combines with particle mo as nani mo, it has a negative meaning. So, for example, if you say ashita nani wo shimasu ka, what will you do tomorrow? Ashita nani mo shimasen, I will not do anything. Kino nani wo shimashita ka, kino mo nani mo shimasen deshita. I did not do anything yesterday also. Now, if you look at the example over here, kesa nani wo nomimashita ka? Juice wo nomimashita is one answer. Then you can also say nani mo nomimasen deshita. I did not have anything in the morning. Kesa is today morning. Kesa nani wo tabemashita ka? What did you have in the morning? Well, you can say nani mo tabemasen deshita. I did not have anything. Or you can also say what you have eaten. For example, pan to tamago wo tabemashita. So, you can use it like this. Nani mo can be used in daily conversation and it means nothing and always has a negative verb in the end. Please remember that, that is important with nani mo, verb is always negative. You can practice this nani mo over here. Kesa nani wo nomimashita ka? Nani mo nomimasen deshita. Kino 
何を飲みましたか or 昨日何を作りましたか作りますです to make 何も作りませんでした I did not make anything and you can practice like this over here Now, as we have been doing hiragana in our previous lessons, well, there is hiragana for you here. This series is the na series or the na sound or letter n. Na, and you can see the stroke order, how it is given. Please practice. So, na and like this. So, the stroke order of course, for this is 1, 2, 3 and then 4. Well, na, ni, nu, it is coming up very nicely and clearly I am sure. So, you can practice it, ne and try to actually write it in a block in a maths notebook where you have big blocks and try to place the letter in a manner that it is right in the center and it looks proportionate. Or you could also practice it on a graph paper actually that would make it even more easy and convenient. No and you have it all in one you can look at the look at the stroke order and practice at home make it a number of times only then it will become clear and easy for you see how it is done it looks proportionate in a square now we have done these body parts me hana kuchi ha mimi te ashi kao so well let us see what it is me hana kuchi ha mimi te and ashi and then we have kao so it is not c o w it is k a o please remember that and of course this part over here, this is the head that is called atama. I will just write it down for you. Atama and please do not pronounce it as atma, it is atama. Please remember that. Then we have done a lot of kanjis in our previous lessons. Today also we will do some kanji characters. The first one over here is Mimi which you did just now in the picture. So, well I will just make Mimi for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 like this. It ends over here. Once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 like this. So, this is Mimi, me, 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 me. Then the next one is Go. We have been doing learning Nihongo for the past so many days now. Nihon. You have done, you already know Nihon. Well, Go. It is a combination of some characters. This character over here means to say or to speak. Now, this you have already done ichi ni san shi and go and this of course, also you have done which is kuchi. So, nihon go it is like this nihon and go nihon go. So, go is given over here it means language and then of course, the last one is hon 
which I just did with you. This is Ichi, this is Ju, this is Ki and this is Hon. Now, this is a key which you cut, you make paper and from paper you make hone. So, you cut a key and you make hone. That is how hone has come into being. This also has another meaning, but for the time being we will just stick to hone. Well, now we have uh, kanji words for you over here. You already know the words but you do not know the kanji characters and it is always good to know kanji characters because it is easy to understand. So, well we have Tokyo, Nihongo, Hitori and Tomodachi. All this you already know, I will just tell you the kanji characters. Well, for Tokyo it is To, To means east and Kyo is Kyo is a Kyo means capital. So, well east of the old capital is Tokyo east of this old capital which is which was Kyoto or Kyoto as you know is Tokyo which is the present capital of Japan. Then we also have Nihongo over here Nihongo Nihon you already know Nihon we have done it a number of times Nihon which means Japan and Go means language. So, it is a combination of three characters to make language over here. I will make those characters for you once very very quickly and then explain. So, well this character is 1, 2 and then 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. This means to speak or to say something. The next character is Go, which is 5, Ichi ni san shi and Go, you have already done. And then this character is Kuchi, which again you have done. So, well, trying to speak so many words from your mouth would naturally lead to speaking a language. So, well, this is Nihon Go. Then we have Hitori. Okay, I'll just write Nihongo for you. Ni, hon, and go. Nihongo. And then we have Hitori. One person is Hitori. Now the last one we have is Tomodachi, which means friend, which is like this. Tomo and Dachi. It is again a combination of a lot of a lot of uh, kanji characters. So, once again for you one, two, and three, like this Tomo Dachi. So, these are some of the words that you actually have to do. Now, you can see the stroke order how it has been made. Well, the tree is over here, cut the tree and make horn out of it. Stroke order is 1, 2, 3, 4 and then So, it is a 5 stroke character. We have go over here. So, let us see how many strokes are there in go. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, nana, hachi, kyu, ju, juichi, juni, 
Ju san and Ju shi. So, we have 14 strokes to go. You can practice it, the order is given over here. Well, this one is Mimi. So, we have 6 strokes in this character 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then in the end we have 6. So, we have 6 strokes. Please get the order correct. Now, some words with Japanese characters. Ego, Hindi go, Koku go, Gengo, Honjitsu, Hondana, Jimoku. The meanings for these words are given over here. Now, there is some vocabulary, new vocabulary in this lesson. Shizuka, Kantan, Yume, Shinsetsu, Jozu, Steki, Handsome, Takusan, Agemas, Kanai, and in the end, Chikatetsu. So the meanings are given over here, and you can revise it later. Well, now we have a small expression for you. A daily expression. Look at this picture, you can see this gentleman going and this lady saying bye to him. So, well, what does he say? And the time is 8 o'clock in the morning, the sun is shining bright, and what does he say? Itte kimas. The person who is leaving the house will say itte kimas, and the person who is at home will say itte irashai. So, I think that is exactly what happens when you leave your house, your mother says go and come and you say I will just go and come. Then of course, now begins your work. You have your assignments match group A with group B which we generally do. Then there are some words. You have to write hiragana for the words and you have to do fill in the blanks. Also, you have to choose the correct kanji character. Then assignment 5, listen to the conversation and answer the questions. Moshi moshi, Rao san no otaku desu ka? Hai, so desu. Amit to moshi masu ga? ご主人はいらっしゃいますか。すみません。今いません。十字ごろ帰ります。あ、そうですか。ではその時またお電話します。はい、お願いします。失礼します。Listen to the conversation and please answer these questions here. We'll discuss the questions in our next session and in the end we have some Adjectives over here, you have to tick the most appropriate adjective, correct adjective and make a good sentence. So now, I leave you here, it has been a long lesson for you. I leave you here with what we have done uh, today in class. Practice at home nicely, learn all your na adjectives, make sentences with your friends and we will come back again tomorrow and do something new. Till then, bye bye and thank you very much. Mata aimashou.